Hey everybody, so this video has been a long time coming. Um, I've largely let uh, 2017 pass me by, but I'm back with another video, and we're back with another episode of Fun with Linux. So this video, I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done in a very long time, and that is building something. A lot of times I like to talk about how I would like to continue building stuff, and I'm going to do that today. I'm going to tell you how you can build your own Linux NAS, and if you don't know what a NAS is, that's a network attached storage device, so think file server, but do it under $100. So uh, let's get started with that. After setting it up and putting all the stuff together, flashing the image and, and plugging in the hard drive, is I need to mess with the file system. So if we go to the file system tab over here, we can see that I have a slash dev slash SDA uh, NTFS file system. Now that is the hard drive that you saw me put right underneath that Pi on my networking equipment. Just select SMB and go over here and uh, there's even wind support and different logs. You can set passwords, asynchronous. There's, there's so many options. This is crazy that you can run this on a Pi, to be quite honest. But once you turn it on, you just go over to shares, right? And uh, click add. And uh, I have this NFS share here, but I'm going to make a new share. And uh, I do that by selecting the right device, finding the path. And for my Samba share, I'm gonna do it do it for the entire device. So I've set up a couple of shares and uh, I had to set up a user and me being me, I gave it every single group permission. But I went through and I set up a Samba share. It's a, uh, I have my NFS share obviously and I'm gonna be using that. But I figured for the purpose of this video, because people are gonna be interested in how to get a quick and easy network share, I set up a media folder share and uh, it's time to connect to it. So if we remember my IP address for the Pi, which is 
192, 168, 145. We know that the Samba protocol is this, so I can just go straight into my media folder, connect as a registered user. And uh, now I have access to my Raspberry Pi and I have access to everything in my media folder. So we can go through my movies. I can open up and get sued by the copyright gods for this movie. And this uh, is being delivered straight over my Raspberry Pi, right over my network. There's zero lag, uh, full feature. And uh, I can open Taxi Driver if I want to. That loads just fine. I've got uh, TV shows, so we could watch. And this is all being delivered directly through the Raspberry Pi, all for very little money. So everybody, I hope you liked this video. It was, uh, like I said, it was a long time coming. I really needed to get out there and rethink my content. I've got a website up now that you guys can check out and you can follow the inner workings of what I'm doing day to day related to this channel. I know I have the Reddit and no one uses it, but <laughs> that's there too. But this website is a blog dedicated to all things uh, fun with Linux and everything that's coming on. And I also have another announcement. I will be interviewing, I have to send him a message later, but I will be interviewing Noah Chalaya of the Linux Action Show fame and uh, ask Noah at Jupiter Broadcasting. He's kind of a big deal in the community and uh, he said he would let me uh, interview him. And I also have another interview that I got to set up with Alan Pope of the Ubuntu, uh, the whole Ubuntu thing. He uh, <laughs> He's a community manager and uh, we'll be getting that going too. But if you like this content, and I know you do because people keep subscribing, please click that subscribe button. I want to get to a thousand before March and we're almost there. Uh, and I will see you again next week with another video. I'm going to try and do at least one video a week.